I'm continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I'm reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around just a little bit as I move along. I have recently just finished the first few chapters in the book of 1 Samuel, because remember that the birth of Samuel, most likely, anyways, occurred near the beginning of the 20 years that Samson judged Israel. Now that we have reached the adulthood of Samuel, we will return to the conclusion of the story of Samson, because his story would end about the time that Samuel was, be, was reaching his manhood. So let us conclude the story of Samson, and then we will continue with the story of Samuel. This is Judges chapter 16. This will be our last chapter in the book of Judges. Samson carries away doors of a gate of Gaza. He loves Delilah, who delivers him to Philistines. He destroys building, killing himself and 3,000 others. Okay, remember, he killed a 1,000 with the jawbone of an ass. He killed 30 for their changes of clothing at one time. And then it just gave an unspecified number that he uh, killed with a great slaughter. So, let us read chapter 16 now. Then went Samson to Gaza, and saw there an harlot, and went in unto her. And it was told the Gazites, saying, Samson is come hither. And they compassed him in, and laid wait for him all night in the gate of the city, and were quiet all the night, saying, In the morning, when it is day, we shall kill him. And Samson lay till midnight, and arose at midnight, and took the doors of the gate of the city, and the two posts, and went away with them, bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders, and carried them up to the top of an hill that is before Hebron. Now that has got to be impressive. That, that's impressive. Note again that, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, it doesn't say that the Spirit of the Lord worked mightily upon him, as it does at other times. When he killed the lion, the Spirit of the Lord worked mightily upon him. When he killed the uh, thousand with the jawbone of an ass. The Spirit of the Lord worked mightily upon him, but he has other instances like this where the Spirit of the Lord is not working on him, and yet he still displays this incredible strength. So as I mentioned, his strength seems to be very much superhuman at all times, but there are certain moments where it is augmented by the Spirit. Now, Gaza is one of the cities of the Philistines. It is on the Mediterranean coast. Hebron is the city of Caleb, and it is up in the mountains, somewhat uh, just south of Jerusalem, I believe, along the coast of the Dead Sea, or near the coast of the Dead Sea. We're talking 50, 60 miles at least, maybe more. I'm not, I'm not quite sure on the distance, but it's about that. And it says he picked up these gates, and he carried them from Gaza to the hill just before Hebron. So he probably dragged them 30 miles. So, and it says he took him up the gates, the two posts, so the two side posts that the gates are, that the hinges would be attached to, and the bar. And that's the crossbar for locking the gates closed. See, they all knew who Samson was here. He's been judging Israel for 20 years now. But his strength and what he did before is still in the minds of the Philistines. They still fear Samson. They get him all trapped in. They think they got him cornered. And when he tries to escape, we'll see him running. And we'll wait till the morning when we can see him. And when he tries to escape, we'll kill him. And so at midnight, he just walks out, picks up the gate, and walks off with it. <laughs> Verse 4. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her, and said unto her, Entice him, and see wherein his great strength lieth, 
and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him. And we will give thee, every one of us, eleven hundred pieces of silver. A couple of things here. This Delilah is apparently not the same as the harlot in Gaza. And as I've mentioned before, harlots are not necessarily prostitutes, but in this case, it does seem like she is a prostitute. She had a boarding house where you could, you know, buy one night. And that seems what he did. See, now we're getting his uh, his reputation as a uh, kind of drunken bum. But even then, I'm not sure it's fully uh, fully deserved. But he goes into the harlot. That's the gates. But then he lo he falls in love with Delilah. Doesn't say Delilah is a harlot. These are two different women. And doesn't really even say what nationality Delilah is, only that she is in the Valley of Sorek. So, anyways, so now, a lot of people, a lot of, especially in movies and stuff, they try to make Delilah and Samson this great romance, but it's not really. He loved her. I have no doubt about his love for her. I actually think he did love her. I think she just liked the attention. And when the Philistines offered her 1,100 gold each... Oh, not gold, silver. That might have been 1,100 total that they'll each pay enough that she has 1,100, or it could have been 1,100 from each one, and there's five lords of the Philistines, that would be 5,500 silver. That's a lot of money, and she obviously wanted it. So, verse 6, And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. And Samson said unto her, if they bind me with seven green withs that were never dried, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Then the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven green withs, which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in the chamber. And she said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he brake the withs as a, as a thread of tow is broken when it toucheth the fire. So his strength was was not known. And Delilah said unto Samson, Behold, thou hast mocked me, and told me lies. Now tell me, I pray thee, wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If they bind me fast with new ropes that never were occupied, then shall I be weak, and be as another man. Delilah therefore took new ropes, and bound him therewith, and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And there were liars in wait, abiding in the chamber, and he brake them from off his arms like a thread. And Delilah said unto Samson, Hitherto thou hast mocked me, and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web. And she fastened it with the pin, and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awakened out of his sleep, and went away with the pin of the beam, and with the web. Let us pause there a moment. This is just an interesting... You gotta wonder why he's still with this woman. This is why he gets his reputation. He falls in love with the Delilah. She asks him about the secret to his strength, and... He lies to her, damn it. New green was, I mean, you know, strip the bark off of a tree and use those as ropes. Don't cure them, don't do anything with them, just pull them off the tree and tie me up and we're good. He breaks them, just, he just kind of stands up and they break off of him. And the Philistines run. It doesn't say he kills any of the Philistines, note that. He just breaks them and the Philistines run. Does it a second time. Oh, well, you use ropes that have never been used before. Breaks those. Tie my hair with the web. What the web is, that's the uh, the loom. And that's the, the pin. So this is how we, the, the, the device that they used for spinning uh, tapestries, for spinning cloth. This is the loom. And so she ties him up with the loom. And he just stands up and carries the loom out with him. <laughs> Why is he still... He, he knows that she is trying to weaken him. And she every time the Philistines happen to be there... He's showing himself to be an idiot. 
up to this point, I think he was actually a good, he was, I think he was a definitely a righteous man. He was not out having drunken orgies. He just wasn't as uh, temperate as he should be. There's no evidence of him getting drunk. Doesn't say he was drinking wine. It, he just had a, he had a short temper. He judged Israel well for 20 years, but then he falls in love with Delilah. He gets a little bit into the, uh, you know, he, he hires himself a prostitute and all that, but. Anyways, verse 15. And she said unto him, How canst thou say I love thee when thine heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me these three times, and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. And it came to pass, when she pressed him daily with her words, and urged him, so that his soul was vexed unto death, that he told her all his heart, and said unto her, There hath not come a razor upon mine head, for I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak, and be like, other man, be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he hath shewed me all his heart. Then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her, and brought money in their hand. And she made him sleep upon her knees, and she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And she, de and she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before, and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him. So he finally gave in, vexed him to death. He got tired of her nagging. And he told her the truth. And it was, you know... Anyways, you can also see that Delilah, she was only interested in the money. She did not love Samson. She had tried four times. She was a nagging woman. She was trying to get him to tell. The, and as soon as she finally believed he was telling her the truth, she immediately goes to the lords of the Philistines. Anyways, I actually think I'm going to leave that one here. I will finish this chapter in the next video, and we will read the end of Samson.